But you know, don't get me wrong, fucking sucks. Holy fucking sucks. Mm. And I hate to say it, but fucking good on a dimble, you know, he fucking did his research, he knows what he was doing. Mm. You know, good on the fucking guy, he's smart enough to know where to fucking diddle kids. <laughs> Don't diddle kids, he's smart enough. He read the fucking blueprints. Like, he read the fucking, you know, the fucking tiny script, like, he fucking... Like right over that, he was like, "Okay, fine." You know, yeah, I can. How, stop how about we I mean. don't? How about we don't do that one thing that gets us all in trouble? Exactly. Man, who yeah. knew it would? Who knew it would take you out of trouble by not diddling kids? Man. Who would have guessed? But no, yeah, that's just kind of what you know. I think it's like, you know, really? Come on, you know, really? Is that short for something? Blame the adults that fucking diddle the kids and says this, you know, over fucking forty years since it happened. Because you seem to forget exactly when this came up, when you know this whole thing started coming up. Yeah. When all this started coming up, right? Nah, I'm trying to. When did that happen? I'm Amara. It means With the Me Too movement. Oh my God! Of course, man. I hate you. Mm -hmm. You're right. But you know, fucking something against it. Nothing really, but you know, kind of funny. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie that. As of right now, from my from what I remember and what I've kind of heard, that 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 movement, or at least recently, kind of taking a hit. And I mean, no, yeah, was it a and good movement? The why is that it's counterproductive? Yeah, not only is it counterproductive. The Me Too movement, you know, this is absolutely true. You know, that should happen. Is that you know, it's basically the final solution of of see something, say something. You know. Mm. Essentially, it's what happened when, you know, no one did it, so they had to fucking come out on themselves. Mm. And, um, essentially what, you know, what's happening with that, that I forget who said it was someone, but, um, the reason why it's kind of productive is that in all the markets, it's really hitting business the hardest. Oh, because see some say because, something. Because, well, no, yeah, because, you know... Any business run by anybody, men, women, uh, all that, are afraid that um, yeah. if this happens to them, well, everything they're, they're, fucking dies. Yeah, no, everything's done. They go you, fucking bankrupt, people go to jail. No, you wish. Mom, they no wish they get bankrupt. Uh, they wish they get bankrupt. No, That's not the goes to shit. So they're not hiring anyone. Know, even yeah, yeah, they're not, you know, there's like not hiring, yeah, which, I, you know, yeah, it's kind of productive. Yeah, I mean, this is put an entire stigma on that entire, um, you know, I don't want to say good deal, but that entire fucking relationship, or that, that entire thing, idea, um, or I like, could at the very least have a false allegation on them, you know, for her to get something that I go from the paper. I mean, not to tell YouTube. It's not worth the fucking progression. Not to tell YouTube my secrets, but yeah, there, there. I will say this: there is one girl at at school. I'm surprised she's never ever come. Not that I did anything wrong, but she definitely wasn't. She's not someone that would have been, I think, that old. But I definitely know we were in situations where it was the cues were there, where we were having fun. But could she? Could she be? Could she have ever said anything? There is a chance. Not. not so I'm sorry, you two. And I'm being honest. But there's a chance she could easily probably just come out of nowhere and just be like, "Yep, yeah, nope, sorry, I wasn't." And I'm just over here like, "Well, guess my life's over." Not that I've done anything. Are you right now? Huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm like, wait, what? It's not the YouTube work. <laughs> I'm telling YouTube no, my yeah, secret, so. but no, it's just, but that's the one thing I've been learning about is about kind of men's issues a little bit is that sadly, I, no offense to women out there, but there's a point where at this point, I don't want to be alone with one unless I absolutely know she has said, yes, I want to be with you alone to do this thing. And I can be like, all right. You've agreed. You can't come back on this. You can't, you know. No, yeah, and well, you know, uh, I made some honestly pretty nice curry 
um, last night, and Ooh. she's currently sitting in my fucking fridge. And um, bitch. there was this chick who apparently got locked out of her fucking apartment. I just left her keys in there. Ooh. And, you know, I was cleaning up my cooking stuff, you know, going back oh, and forth. being a man? Kitchen. Nice. And I just see her sitting out there probably at the end of the hallway before it starts to turn. And I'm going to take my last trip. I go up to her and say, well, I don't go up to her. You know, I go probably... No, no, no. You I'm run up to her and go... Her. You run up to her and go... <laughs> <"Hurr."> <laughs> Sprint down and go... Hello! No, um... <laughs> I can no, see. see I, I'm going to go fucking halfway down the hall. And I look at her, uh, I say, hey, are you good? She says, no, yeah, I locked myself, you know, out of the fucking apartment. And, you know, I'm waiting for my friend to get the keys. And me being the genuine nice person that I am, say, hey, yeah, I have some some curry that I cooked, uh, cooked last night. You know, if you haven't eaten yet, you know, I have some. And she's like, oh, yeah, you know. Oh, that, okay. Uh, already, so it's like, okay, cool, yeah. And, you know, that could have gone multiple different ways, you know, that to her brain because I have true fucking attention to give her fucking curry. See, see the bad... Not to fucking see, be like, oh, well, I gave you curry. Time for sex. No, <laughs> fucking... No, like, it's like, here, take the curry. You know, you can take a fucking bowl, take a spoon, just give it back. <laughs> See that's but, see that's the world we live in though is that some people now have this oh, yeah. like. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say is that you know I don't know what she was thinking. But she could have thought that hey, this guy's a fucking weirdo trying to get you know into his fucking apartment, fucking lock the door, pounce on me, and do some shit. No, no, he's gonna pounce on me and shove fucking curry down my. <laughs> yeah, take my the curry. curry. No. <laughs> I feel bad though because I, well not bad but I'm also it's, I've been in I've easily been in situations I think where I'm just over here like if I'm not careful this can easily swing a 180 and things can go bad and remember I've been 20 I've been above 21 for a long I've been past 18 for a long time so any sort of bad situation happens ooh but, no, yeah. But it sucks. You know, but it sucks though, because women, not that. They, as I was, you know, in my apartment, fucking putting my shit away, came my thought like, oh shit, that could have been fucking bad. I don't know how she was fucking thinking about me, you know. She hated you. What the fuck do you mean? You know, she very well uh, could have thought, shit, that's some fucking weird guy. Baby Kerr was like, you know, the fucking new slang for sexual assault. I don't fucking know. <laughs> God, the curry man yeah, is back. It's literally just a fucking Tupperware of curry the size of my fucking apartment in my fridge. It's like, just fucking... God. I have curry for the next three days. I love I love this situation. And like very limited rice to go curry. <laughs> it sucks though, because ma women, sadly, I think now have been not... And in fact, there's a lot more chicken to make with the curry. <laughs> and it's just like... Most men, I would, I would at least say this. I would hope that most men have good intention to be nice gentlemen, and I would try to be. But women are have seen too many, or been through too many situations, or just heard too many situations. Because I don't think everyone has been through bad things. But it's at the point where it really is like, oh crap! Every other woman thinks I'm possibly a bad person. I can't even speak to you. I cannot be genuine. I can't be nice, or else I'm possibly going to fucking prison. Well, at least going to the no, yeah. going to the house for a second. Go and have a nice little but, conversation about why you assaulted this woman with your words. But do you know what that kind of sounds like? What? I'm ready for the fucking nice guy shit. I mean, it is. I like, I think all over the fucking shit, like just fucking. I mean, and it's like it's not that dude, I want. If you want to be a genuine nice guy, fucking do something without any sort of expectation in return. Absolutely, like, offer someone curry for literal fucking curry. Yeah, exactly, but that's and the don't point out that you're a nice guy to the person you're trying to be a nice guy to. Which I don't think a lot of guy, or at least I maybe there's a few assholes out there that are like that. They're like, hey, I'm a nice guy. You gotta do something for me. I mean, I've all, I've, I've helped people genuinely out of my heart because I'm like, hey, they need help. And if they have taken it the wrong way, then sure. But that's the thing. You had, you were in a situation where you're like, hey, this person's locked out for however long. They might need food. Fuck it. I have some free food to give, and I'm, I have literally too much to eat. Do you want some? And God, that sucks. Not that being yeah, like, um, God, that really if sucks. If you generally want to see that occurrence, you know, in, I won't say like real time, but 
kind of like a play-by-play play, there actually is a fucking subreddit for r slash knife diary. <laughs> so you see that exact same thing. Oh, I feel bad. You know, and, I'm, and I'm totally talking about, you know, the fucking, you know, because the, the, the stereotypical nice guy is like this fucking dude. Like, rotund fella. <laughs> with um, the fedora. Hey, shut up. Are you rotund? Do you have weight? Actually, you're two okay. or three of those, so you're close enough. <laughs> I was about to say, shut up. I have, like, you do have a I actually have, I have a cane and I have three fedoras. Oh my god, he's a nice guy. I'm not a nice guy. I'm a, I'm actually a heartbreaker, ironically. <laughs> Not necessarily, not too bad, but I have, I've broken a lot of, a lot more hearts than I actually ever thought I would. Do I get- Listen, listen, put it down your hand for a week as a cop okay? <laughs> I, I wish it was my hand. <sighs> no, I'm not a nice guy, I'm just a person who does whatever the hell I want. But, at the same point so that- far, So far, so I think I'm probably cutting out this next week, but I'm going back to my dorm. Mm -hmm. Take this. Right back outside. So, I'm you, going to fish for the next five minutes. Ah, uh, so you, I'm not taking you off the call. Um, you don't do that I will. I will. I will edit it out. I will make sure no one. Listens. No, yeah. So like from like this point forward until when I say you're five to go, just you know make a mental note you're recording it. Oh, actually, right let me.